Howdy, 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 my darling Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for August 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below, Leo, how this tarot reading resonates with you, because that's how I keep up with y'all, so the comments. All right, Leo, today we're going to be getting into three rows for you in tarot, obviously, darling, right? In your first row, we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now. Could be a romantic or a platonic relationship, but it's just whoever's on your mind, darling, all right? Your second row, uh, Leo, we're going to be talking about messages that you need to hear right now, what you need to hear right now, Leo, today. And then in your third row is just your cart row of predictions, what I see happening for you if you continue down in the same path that you have been going. All right, Leo. So remember, when it comes to consuming your tarot readings today, Leo, consume more than just your one zodiac sign. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. All right. And if you want to support this channel for free, uh, just give this video a like and subscribe. I know you don't have to. It helps me out a lot, though. And I'm really appreciative for those that take the extra step to do that. Starting out your reading, though, here, uh, Leo, we got this page of swords. All right. Pages brings forth news. All right. Page brings forth new energy for you in a social dynamic for you, Leo. Page of swords can represent a few things. All right. It represents uh, someone that is not really communicating with you, but paying attention to what it is that you are doing. All right. Uh, you know, this is commonly known for some people uh, to just pay attention to what you post on social media because they're uh, uh, post uh, they're watching what it is that you post. All right. I feel like for you, uh, Leo, you might be having some sense of frustration with with communication with certain people like you want to just have bygones just be bygones or just like put leave something in the past but there's like complications like something keeps being brought up or what have you i feel like for your uh personal endeavors right career you know projects what have you um leo i feel like you're this is a call to action all right, you guys, Leo have been doing a lot of research. You've been re you're really intelligent here. Um, you've been putting a lot of research into a craft or into a subject, but you haven't, I feel like fully executed a plan. I want you to start leaning into planning, like planning out when to execute the plan. <laughs> Leo, I want you to start figuring out how you're going to start setting yourself in sub self up in such a way. You know, for example, Leo, like I hear so commonly how people it's like, I want to leave my country. I want to leave my city. I want to leave my state. But they always speak about it as if it's some um, far off dream, something that couldn't actually be possible. Well, Leo, this is spirit telling you, it's just like, darling, we're just sit like, we're sitting over here. Like your spiritual team, Leo, is just like, darling, we're sitting over here. We're like watching you. We're waiting. And it's just like, you say you want to do this. You want to leave the country, darling. You want to move. You want to get that job, darling. You want to have that dream job. We can help you. But you have to be about the action, all right? It's like you're bringing up all these good ideas, these good plans, but you're not being about the action, which is very unlike you, Leo. This is your month right now, darling. It's your birthday, so happy birthday to my Leos. Celebrate your energy more, all right? Celebrate your energy more because it's like the greatest gift that you could ever receive could come from your spiritual team, all right? You want that fabulous birthday gift, darling? Lean into the spiritual team, all right? So let's get into your rose now. Let's get into the person that's on your mind currently, Leo. You have the Seven of Cups, Four of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles coming out for you, all right? The person on your mind currently, Leo... I get this sense where I'm going to be honest, very, very, very honest here, Leo. I feel like you need to move on from them. I feel like this is a call to action for you to just see a situation, see a person for how they are and kind of just be like, you know what? Is this person really worth it? Right. You think about this seven of cups energy, Leo, and it's like you want to consider other options because I feel like they're considering other options here. I'm going to just be very blunt. All right. You know, if you're wanting me to just talk about this person. All right. I don't feel as if they're directly thinking about how they could grow with you or how they could resolve if there's a situation to resolve like i'm not getting this sense of where they're super focused in on developing things currently i feel like they're on a journey of themselves they're really only thinking about themselves not a bad thing leo necessarily right inherently but it's just like they're not thinking from like a i think it's just important to acknowledge leo that it's like they're just thinking about what feels good to them all right i feel as if when it comes to this person here when things get complicated i feel like they're the type of person to just start ghosting and just be like all right like you know it's like that was fun 
for its moment, but this now it's not becoming fun. Now it's becoming like work. And so they move on to something bigger. Like they always have like that grass is greener syndrome. And so I'm going to just be very honest here, Leo, in the sense of where it's like, I see this energy. I'm like, all right, this is like, you want to just match this energy, this nonchalant energy here. All right. I feel like this person isn't really interest, interested in hearing out any specific insight. All right. This is someone that is just so, I don't know. It's, you can't really work with this type of energy here. They don't take anything really seriously. Or if they do, they just shut down and avoid it. All right. So I'm going to just be very blunt in that way, Leo. Um, I'm going to pull some, especially because of this Page of Swords energy influencing this as well. The Page of Swords is like an energy, Leo, of where it's just like, rough communication observing but not speaking all right it's like the sense of where it's just like currently i don't feel like y'all are speaking right now if you are it's not very depthful leo because i feel like with this energy here it's like it's just as if like they're not speaking but they're still paying attention all right you, they may not be communicating with you but they'll still engage with your post they'll still watch your story all right they may not want to have something depthful with you, Leo, but they'll still like send that random message and just be like, hey, but never actually have anything of depth to expound on. Right. It's just very just like, what are we doing energy? All right. That's what I that's what I feel when I see that energy, to be honest, just like, what are we doing here? Like, Leo, like what, what, what are they up to? All right. So that's what I got on that. Now, let's take a look at what you need to hear at this time, Leo. All right, you have your energy, the strength card, two of pentacles here with the page of cups. Interesting. You have some pages coming in, more pages coming into your uh, reading as well, just like uh, Aries did. Different pages, though. What you need to hear right now, Leo, is that I feel like for you, you don't have to juggle with so much. Things don't have to be as hard as they currently are for you. I feel like you need to realize that this is perhaps a time for you to, instead of like working, like instead of seeing resistances and seeing it as an obstacle to um, go through, I feel like you need to take these resistances and be like, you know what, something out there, has, it's that energy is like, you know what, that over there, that might be difficult. That might, you know, this is giving me all this resistance, you know, new energies coming in page of cups page of cups talks about new energy new people the new opportunities coming into your life there right this is very much so an energy leo of where it's like talking about being keeping that en energy of being like you know what that job this job is not worth my tears this job is not worth this stress these people are not worth all this drama that i'm getting from them there has to be something better all right and there definitely is I feel like for you, Leo, the biggest thing or the biggest problem that you're experiencing is just accepting this idea or accepting that there's just going to be some obstacles that are just not worth it. It's not as if you're quitting. I mean, I guess to be blunt, I guess you are quitting certain situations or being called to quit certain situations, Leo. But I feel like it's like... Eight of Swords energy. I feel like it's just out of your hands. I feel like there's nothing more that you can do with certain situations here, Leo. All right. There's nothing more that you can do with certain situations. And so you need to just start keeping this energy of being like, you know what? It served me for its point in time. Hierophant energy here. But there has to be something better. There has to be something that could give me, give you, Leo, right? More than what you're getting currently, All right? There's this sense for you, Leo. I feel like you're uh, desiring more depth from situations in your life, more substance. And you should lean deeper into that, Leo. You shouldn't stray away from that is something that I'm hearing, All right? You definitely can get more from other situations here all right four of cups energy coming in here some of you guys might be ignoring signs of where spirit's been trying to direct you leo i am going to be honest i feel like some of you guys have seen the red flags but you are just like keeping this energy being like no i don't see those I, I don't see those red flags darling you can put them right in front of my face but i don't see them right this is i feel like a time for you leo of where you're having to humbly accept situations for as they are and then 
continuing on after that. You have the number eight popping forward to you, Leo. So be sure to write that down for numerology and look that up later. Crown games, right use of power coming in here. All right. I feel like for you, Leo, you're trying to avoid like the head games here. You're trying to avoid tr dealing with people like especially in like the workplace. I feel like there's just like games going on or just like in all, there's a lot of in this inauthenticity. I feel like in the workplace, I feel like you need to be a little bit more of a lone wolf right now. All right, so Leo, because people are just people are playing games around you, I feel. All right. I feel like for you, Leo, the best thing that you could be doing for yourself is to not engage. All right. Because this is a time of where it's going to sound weird, but I feel like you need to start valuing your time and energy more. What you put your energy and time into is what's going to grow. So why would you want to feed energy into these extremely like basic people, into these people, into these situations that just lack the uh, substance here? All right. A grand symphony coming in here. I'm going to be honest here, Leo. I feel as if... I'm going to pull another card. I'm going to pull a tarot card for this, but Ten of Swords, you might be coming. That's what I feel. It's like some type of like final event happening. All right. You might be noticing, Leo, someone trying to pull a reaction out of you or trying to bring up old stuff to like have a moment. Like, I feel like that's what's happening, Leo. It's like someone's trying to have a moment with you and i feel like the best course of action is to just disengage i feel like i don't know why like i get the sense of someone just wanting to start some shit with you <laughs> like that's just all i'm getting with that there so take that as you will darling but it's really interesting all right leo so let's get into your predictions now darling all right you have the ace of pentacles king of wands with that empress energy all right i see a lot more attention coming to you leo all right not only because you have that strength energy coming in here but this king of wands is your energy as well it's that fiery energy darling all right you're getting you, there's a lot of you i don't feel like you fully acknowledge leo the attention that you get from people i feel like you're a little bit too dismissive of how some people are towards you or see you as like i feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit with people so let's just say for example leo maybe you're just like there's no way this person even thinks about me or just has considers me or even knows that i exist i feel like it's spirits challenging you it's just like actually darling not only do they know that you exist but for some of them they're really attracted to you with this empress energy empress energy is very attractive energy here ace of pentacles for you as well i see more responsibility being offered to you leo and if you choose to take that responsibility a lot could be growing from that all right a lot could be growing from that i feel like especially for you guys here i keep on getting like that one message leo of where it's just saying just like you know the craft you know what you need to do you you're edu you're as educated as you are, can be on this subject it's time to take action on it you know your potential you know you could accomplish it if you were to just give it the time of day but you ha aren't giving it the time of day you aren't taking physical action towards it leo i don't know i keep on getting like this call to action for you leo i get for you for many of you leos there's this sense of like responsibility that you are desiring some of you guys are just wanting to take a lead, start creating something of your own or something of that manner, uh, Leo. And I don't know. I feel like this is, I think this is just truly a time of action for you, Leo. And for those that take the action, they're going to get the attention that comes with it and further success is what I personally feel. All right. So Leo, you have here clear your mind last quarter moon in Gemini. All right. You could be dealing with a Gemini in your life or you have Gemini in your chart as well. All right. Clearing your mind here. Take note here. I'm going to take this card as well. Keep your heart open first quarter moon. I want you to take note, Leo, of this consistent Con, uh, the consistency of the head, a consistency of what's going on in your headspace. All right. 
again, don't allow people to trigger you. I feel like people are really wanting some type of reaction out of you, even if it's deemed as bad. Like they just want to see if they have access to you in that way. All right. I don't know what that is. I keep on getting that specific message though, Leo. All right. But um, this is a weekly tarot reading that I have for you. Hopefully you found this res of resonance. If you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelco.com. My website is linked down below. Be sure to follow me on my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all just being Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. And I'll connect with you at a later point in time, Leo. Bye, darling.